is risen. He 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 is risen. Hello everyone. I hope all of y'all are having a good morning so far. I would like to start off this chapel with a Bible verse. Second Thessalonians 3.3 3 says, But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. And now I would like to pray for us all. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for everything that you've given us. Please watch over us and please protect us and please help us during this time. Please help the students and the teachers stay on track and not get behind. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. topic today which is going to be faithfulness. Specifically I'm going to go into how God's promises never fail. So I would like to start off with prayer first. Dear God please help everything that I have to say today to really just be 
words that come from you and to touch anyone who's listening right now and to at least touch one person's heart and to be able to help people to have a little bit of hope through these hard times. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So with Easter coming up, I would like to kind of focus on that a little bit in this message because we really need to focus on Easter um, because um, it deserves our respect and it's such an important holiday for us. So, I would like to kind of put that into this message a little bit. So, like I said, the topic is going to be focused on how God's promises never fail. So with that, I would like to start off with the verse Hebrews 13.8, which says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So a lot of people, when they think of Easter, they think of how great that was back then. You know, that's such a big miracle because you don't really see stuff like that happen today. You didn't really see it back then either, but it's such a big miracle. And then when you read the Bible and see all these miracles that were happening back then, it's kind of, you know, I mean, you appreciate it, but it's like you start to get in this mindset that it just doesn't happen anymore. And all of those great things that are said in the Bible, maybe they're just for that time because a lot of times it's hard to see that or trust in his words when you're not physically seeing it happening again. So I want you to know that just because you're not seeing that kind of stuff doesn't mean that his promises don't still happen today. Like I said in Hebrews 13 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. So, as well as he told, Jesus told the disciples that he would die on the cross and rise again three days later, as much as he meant that, he also meant when he said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. It's not that one promise was greater than the other because Jesus means all of his promises, all of them are going to be the same yesterday, today, and forever. So just because you think of Easter as like this big, great event, but it's kind of like we don't really see that stuff anymore, you should find hope in knowing that he was, he meant it when he meant that he was going to rise again. But he also means never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So his promises, they're still true to this day. As said in Lamentations 3, 22 through 23, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This is meaning that if you feel alone right now, know that His love doesn't expire. His love and His promises, they're new every morning and every day. If if you feel alone right now, all you have to do is reach out to Him. His love isn't ending. He's still going to be there for you. As much as He cared about all of us whenever He died on the cross and rose again, He still cares about us that same amount. So His promises are the same back then when He died on the cross as they are today during this whole virus. I know that you might feel lost right now with so much happening, so many seniors losing their last bit of high school that they dreamt for their whole life, but Jesus said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you, and he meant that. It wasn't a possibility, well, I mean, I'll be with you sometimes, but once it gets really hard, like you might lose like your senior year and stuff, I'll, I mean like, I'll, mm, no, he's still going to be there just as much then as he is going to be now during this virus and this hard time. He, he knew that this was going to happen. From the day that he made earth and made all of us, he knew that eventually we were going to have to deal with this virus. So when he said, never will I forsake you or leave you, he didn't mean just whenever everything seemed okay. He meant even in the midst of this virus that we're all dealing with the effects of it, He's never going to leave us. His promises are never failing. They're never ending. They're going to be the same as they were when He said it 
and all the way up to today and tomorrow and forever. So I hope that you can really understand that and take it to heart through these tough times and especially use it to be able to be more thankful for whenever Easter comes, that we can all come together and maybe not physically be together, but we can all come together and be able to thank Him for everything that He's done even when we're in tough times like this because we know and the Bible says that it's true that His promises are never ending. Thank you.